everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here. This is a quick look at something that is perhaps a little lesser known, a bit of an oddity from the later years of the vintage G.I. Joe toy line. This is the International Action Force Mail Away set. Action Force, of course, is an allusion to uh, the UK's Action Force, the UK version of G.I. Joe. Other than the name and the fact that the set does include one British soldier, it doesn't really have anything else to do with Action Force. As you can see, these figures are still sealed in the factory bag. Uh, this set would have come with all of these figures in a larger bag, uh, and each individual figure was bagged. Uh, I do not review sealed toys, uh, so I will need to find loose examples of each of these figures before I can review them, but I thought it might be fun to just take a look at these. This set came with these four figures, and they were all just reissues of older figures with different colors. There's nothing really new here. It included Budo version 2, which was a copy of the 1988 Budo version 1. It included Spirit version 4, which was a copy of the 1992 Spirit version 3. It included Big Bear version 2, which was a copy of Big Bear version 1 from 1992. And it had Big Ben version 2, which was a copy of Big Ben version 1 from 1991. Each of these figures came with a black figure stand, and Budo did come with a copy of some of his original accessories. Uh, the other figures had different accessories from the original. For instance, uh, Big Bear here uh, has a copy of the uh, 1987 Battle Force 2000 uh, Dodger gun, uh, but it's in black and actually looks pretty good. Unfortunately, mine is a little little bent up. Uh, might be able to fix that, but um, it's okay, I guess, for now. Uh, but they all came with black figure stands and just different accessories. Uh, Big Ben here, for example, uh, came with um, a copy of uh, the 1987 Tunnel Rats machine gun. Uh, that is a nice accessory, but uh, all of these kind of had downgrades in accessories from the originals. This file card is a bit of a peculiarity. Some of these later mail-away sets did not include file cards for each figure. Instead, it had a file card for the set. And instead of having like some nice artwork, it has a photograph of the figures. And it just has a list of the figures here and a description of the set. This file card has a red back like most mail away file cards. And there are a couple other peculiarities about this file card. This is International Action Force, but for an American team, Spirit is not international. He's from the United States. Also, they changed something about Budo. It says uh, Budo was sent from Japan, but according to his version 1 file card, Budo is from Sacramento, California. His name is Kyle. Being that this entire set is reissued, it's kind of cheapy, and so it's hard to give it a lot of praise. Uh, these are all just recolored older action figures, but some of the recolors are actually not too bad. I actually kind of like this big bear here, uh, but then others uh, are not so great. So it's sort of a mixed bag, no pun intended. This is not the only mail away set like this in the 1990s. There was also the Arctic Commandos and the Rapid Deployment Force. So Hasbro is all about reissuing figures for mail-away sets at the time. Despite the fact that these are mail-away figures and probably had a fairly small production run, they don't seem to be very hard to find. Uh, maybe they're just not in demand, uh, but it seems fairly easy to find all of these, and I didn't have any trouble finding this set. That's why I wouldn't call this set rare. I might call it rare-ish. I honestly haven't figured out what to do with these figures yet, whether to review them as a set or individually, but I've got some time to think about it because uh, I We'll need to get all of these figures loose and complete before I will be ready to review them, and that's not something I plan to do right away. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the International Action Force. I hope you will tune in for full G.I. Joe toy reviews in the future. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Thank you to all my subscribers, supporters, and patrons for making these videos possible. You can find me on social media, on Facebook and Twitter, and I have a website, hcc788.com. I'll be coming at you soon with another vintage G.I. Joe toy review, so please keep checking back. And until then, remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.